welcome to the class student uh, today we are going to discuss circles part 3 we will start with uh, tangent and normal we will see whether we can go up to uh, inverse points or position of the circle we will see now you see here tangent what is the equation of the tangent see here here equation of the tangent equation of the tangent to the circle see here to the circle s is equal to 0 at x1 y1 is s1 equal to 0 is what s1 equal to 0 we have here now see let us say that the point is somewhere here x1 y1 right p the circle is what s is equal to 0 what what do you know about s is equal to 0 means the standard equation of the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 we have now do one thing first we will differentiate with respect to x what happened 2x plus 2y dy by dx now here it is 2g here it is 2f again dy by dx 0 and we are getting like this now finally dy by dx is equal to minus x1 plus g divided by y1 plus f you will you will get at x1 y1 this is what slope of tangent slope of tangent this is slope of tangent now you see here equation of the tangent equation of the tangent means y minus y1 is equal to I, I would like to write like this x1 plus g y1 plus f is equal to x minus x1 now after multiplying y y1 yf minus y1 square minus y1 f is equal to x x1 x x1 I want to multiply these two now plus x1 square next minus x g minus x g you see here g x minus minus uh, x 1 g also you will get right minus not minus uh, it is what plus x 1 g we are getting now the question is if you rearrange x x 1 plus y y 1 plus g x 1 g x 1 here f y 1 uh, f y 1 gx1 we have fy1 right gx only not a gx1 here gx you can decide fy see here f into y this is y plus positive y sorry fy is equal to now you will get here x1 square plus y1 square plus gx1 plus fy1 we got it what i am doing here add add g x1 plus f y1 plus c on both side on both side if you add both side you will get like this x x1 plus y y1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c is equal to x1 square y1 square 2 g x1 2 f y1 plus c plus c you got it but when you say that see here x1 y1 lies on the circle clearly clearly x1 y1 lies on s is equal to 0 that means s is equal to 0 means what happened here s11 is 0 that is s11 is 0 that means x1 square plus y1 square plus 2g x1 this is 0 so finally what we have here like this x x1 y y1 g into x plus x1 f into y plus y1 plus c this is can this can be written as s1 equal to 0 we can say now you see here the condition for a line y is equal to mx plus c is a tangent to the circle is that one how see here proof see here proof there is a circle whose center is 0 0 whose radius is r assume that this is a tangent this is a tangent y is equal to mx plus c right is a tangent if it is a tangent it is very clear that very clear that perpendicular distance here p is equal to r p 
पी मीन वॉट परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम सेंटर टू द लाइन राइट पी इज ए परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस वॉट इज दट परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस एम इन टू जीरो माइनस जीरो प्लस सी डिवाइडेड बाय अंडर रूट ऑफ वन प्लस एम स्क्वायर आर एम स्क्वायर प्लस वन नो प्रॉब्लम हियर एम स्क्वायर प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू रेडियस रेडियस इज आर ओनली सो हियर मॉड सी इज इक्वल टू आर अंडर रूट ऑफ ए स्क्वायर एम स्क्वायर यू विल गेट हियर एम स्क्वायर प्लस वन और एस बी एस इफ यू गो फॉर इट सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू आर स्क्वायर वन प्लस एम स्क्वायर यू कैन सी इफ अ लाइन इफ ए लाइन वाई इज इक्वल एम एक्स प्लस सी इज अ टैंज एंड टू दिस वन दर मे बी सम टू टू मोर केसेस आर गोइंग टू बी अराइज वॉट हैपेंड इफ द लाइन इज वॉट अवे फ्रॉम दिस वेरी क्लियर डायग्रामेटिकल यू कैन सी दैट परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस एंड दिस इज रेडियस सो पी इज ग्रेटर दैन आर सिंपली यू कैन से दैट सी स्क्वायर इज ग्रेटर दैन आर स्क्वायर इंटू वन प्लस एम स्क्वायर यू कैन से लाइक दिस ऑल्सो इफ यू टेक द लाइन इज इक्वल टू वाई इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी एम एक्स प्लस सी इफ यू टेक लाइन देन यू कैन से दैट सी स्क्वायर इज दिस कंडीशन अनदर केस यू सी इयर इफ इट इज अ कॉड इफ इट इज अ कॉड राइट इफ इज अ कॉड वॉट हैपन इयर पी इज दिस एंड आर इज दिस वन पी इज डेफिनेटली लेस दैन आर दैट मीन्स सी स्क्वायर इज लेस दैन आर स्क्वायर इंटू वन प्लस एम स्क्वायर नो आई कैन से लाइक दिस वन लाइन इज गिवन वन सर्कल इज गिवन थ्री पॉसिबिलिटीज दैट लाइन मे बी अ टैन एंड वॉट इज अ कंडीशन दिस इज अ कंडीशन राइट इफ दैट लाइन इज अवे फ्रॉम द सर्किल वॉट इज अ कंडीशन दिस इज अ कंडीशन दैट लाइन इज वॉट कट द सर्किल वॉट इज अ कंडीशन दिस इज अ कंडीशन राइट पी इज इक्वल टू आर पी ग्रेटर दैन आर पी लेस दैन आर वी हैव वॉट थ्री केसेस आर देर नाउ यू सी हियर नाउ The condition that the line this is a tangent to this one is this one, and the point of contact is in this one. Yeah, my sincere request is, please learn the process how I am going to find the point of intersection. That is very very important rather than by hearting the definition, by hearting this as a formula. What what I am going to do here? See, there is a circle. Let us say that this is a point. I don't know what that point. Say that p x one y one. That point is p x one y one, and the circle equation is here x square plus y square equal to r square is a circle equation. So I can write here equation of the tangent, equation of the tangent. See here, equation of the tangent at p, okay, two one. Say this is one. Is what s one equal to zero, right? S one equal to zero means what x x one plus y y one is equal to r square. Given he has given that. Given is what na na l x plus m y plus n equal to zero is a tangent. Is a tangent. He has given. That means these two represent same lines, second and third. So two and three represent same line. Same line. That is x one by l. Y one by m. I said this process. You are supposed to remember this process here. Comparison. Here minus r square by n. See directly we will get x one y one from this minus r square l by n minus r square m by n. We are getting right like this. Now when when we say that when we got it x one y one, this x one y one satisfy the line equation. Now I want to substitute in this line equation. Substituting p, okay, substituting p in. In a third equation, I may get here minus r square l by n. Here, uh, m into minus r square m by n plus n equal to zero. See here, plus n equal to zero. Now what what we'll get here? R square l square. Here I'm substituting this one. Please, all of you, just to see this one. Now, r square l square plus Here r square m square is equal to simply you can say that n square r r square into into l square m square n square we got it this in this way you can find the point comparison is very very important here to get the point of contact please okay you see here one more the length of the tangent drawn from an external external sir okay external point that means here I am doing like this this is circle there is a point P I have taken. You draw a tangent, right? From external point P is x1 y1 here. You know very well center minus g comma minus f because s is equal to zero means x square plus y square plus c here 2g x plus 2f y plus c equal to zero is a circle equation. 
Now, center is minus G comma minus F and radius is G square plus F square minus C is there. You see this is the radius. And if you connect this one, P, this is Q, this is the length. PQ is length of the tangent. Length of the tangent. Tangent, length of the tangent. Now you see here, in triangle PCQ, clearly PCQ, if you want you can write PQ is equal to under root of, see this, PC whole square minus R square. What you will get? PC whole square means, see here X1 plus G whole square plus Y1 plus F whole square minus R square, G square minus F square plus C. So after evaluating, we will get here X1 square y1 square 2g x1 2f y1 plus c this can be written as root s11 right like this we are going to find the length of the tangent see one or two important points i would like to discuss note see here i would like to take simple circle here x square plus y square equal to r square is a line i mean it's a circle and here x1 y1 let us say that p is x1 y1 some point here i have taken now, you know very well that equation, equation of the tangent, equation of the tangent to this one. Okay, assume like this, y is equal to mx plus r into 1 plus m square. Right, this is equation of the tangent to that one. Just now we proved it. If this is a tangent, if this tangent is passing to x1, y1, so we can write y1, mx1 plus r under root of 1 plus m square see this and uh, finally you can go for this r square 1 plus m square is equal to mx1 minus y1 whole square mx minus y1 whole square you can get it i did it here squaring on both side here after rearranging the terms so r square one, r square plus r square m square you now you see here this is what m square x1 square plus y1 square minus 2m x1 y1 or you can write like this sir you see this one here m square what is that x1 square minus r square minus 2m x1 y1 and uh, later onwards we can write here y1 square minus r square equal to 0 when you know that m1 m2 are roots roots of something 2 you can take this is 2 equation 1 is this one then sum of the roots m1 plus m2 is equal to what 2 x1 y1 divided by x1 square minus r square product of the roots m1 m2 is equal to y1 square minus r square divided by x1 square minus r square now you see here one one observation if if the tangents are perpendicular tangents are perpendicular to each other perpendicular to each other what is going to happen means minus 1 is equal to see y1 square minus r square divided by x1 square minus r square or x1 square plus y1 square equal to 2 r square this is what locus of point of intersection of perpendicular tangents okay probably you may get like this one is this another one is this one means you will get in this way this is what we are getting again a circle okay again we can say that it is a circle here this is called director circle also this is the second point first point is here this is first point this is second point and the third point is very simple the director circle we said and you want to find the angle between the tangents yes sir tan theta is equal to you can write plus or minus m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 also you can go for it these are the some observation point observing observation points here sir one more point is there see here one more point if theta is the angle between the tangent through the point p to the circle then tan theta is equal to that one what is our yeah proof you see this then yeah we can prove you better what i said one circle i have taken draw two tangents p is outside means two tangents we can draw to connect center perpendicular it is this is radius right this is radius okay for better understanding what i am saying taking here x square plus y square equal to r square i am taking s is equal to my s is like this rather than taking a big circle equation whatever it may be you will get it same this is r 
sender is 0, 0 is there. No need to worry about this one. Just now we got it this length. This length is what? Root S11 we got it. Just now I proved it that. This length is what? Length of the tangent root S11. So angle between the tangents is theta means this is the angle bisector. Theta by 2, theta by 2 will get. Therefore, tan theta by 2 is equal to R by root S11 will get. R theta is equal to 2 tan inverse. R by root S11 we are getting. Right, we are getting here like this. Angle between the tangents also, we did it, sir. See, there is a question. Now, I would look. let us do the problem based on tangents, sir. Now, what type of questions we have? This is the one. The equation of the tangent, point is given, circle is given. We are supposed to find. He said that this is. This point is lies on this circle. S is equal to 0. So, what is the formula I have given? We proved it now. Just now we proved it that S1 equal to 0. So, here let us write down S1 equal to 0. I will show you the way of writing here. X, X1 plus Y, Y1. To half of this you have to write X plus X1. Half of this 3. Y plus Y1. And 11 equal to 0. But we know very well that X1, Y1 is some 3 comma 4. Just you substitute here. 3X plus 4Y minus 2 into X plus 3 minus 3 into y plus 4 plus 11 equal to 0 we have. Now you see here 3x minus 2x right that means you will get x here 4y here minus 3y right 4y minus 3y you will get here y no problem minus 6 minus 12 and plus 11 is there. So you will get here minus 7 equal to 0 in this way we are going to get the equation of the tangent okay okay see here another question the tangent to the circle this at 1 comma 1 at 1 comma 1 is this one then what is the value of k tangent to the circle is this one at t z clearly this point is x1 1 1 1 comma 1 don't get panic here don't it is not necessary to use that right it is not necessary to use that p is equal to r condition very simple, 1 comma 1 lies on the circle. 1 comma 1 lies on the circle. You can directly write here 1 plus 1 minus 4 plus 2 plus k equal to 0. That's it. You see here, k is equal to how much you are getting here now? 0 you are getting. Just I substitute 1 comma 1. 1, 1, 4, 4, 4, 2 means what? 0 we are getting. Now, if you want to do with the help of what? Perpendicular distance is equal to radius, radius, uh, that also you can do it. Right, that also you can do it, sir. Actually, we would like to go for this. But here, the tangent to the circle, at t is at. At means this point lies on the circle. So, blindly, we should not go for the condition, whatever you know. You see the question, according to that, you react. Here, one, if you want, you can do, do like this also. M1, you said, no. now you can write here perpendicular distance. What is the center here? Center is 2 comma minus 1. Radius is how much? We don't know that radius. What is that? Here 4 plus 1 minus k you are going to write. Now perpendicular distance to the circle. 1 minus 2 plus 1 divided by under root of 1 plus 4 is equal to under root of 5 minus k is there. Right. This is what? 0. What you are getting here? You see that? If you substitute here 1 comma 1, 1 comma 1, you, it is satisfying here. So, unnecessarily wasting of time here. Right? Unnecessarily we are wasting of time. So, better sir, think about it. Don't go for blindly applying the rule. Just you see that. Clearly you will see that. And afterwards apply. Okay. Here one more question. The line y is equal to x is a tangent to the circle. Okay, sir. Now you see here, rough diagram I would like to draw. This is y is equal to x. y is equal to x. This, this is x axis. This is y axis, origin is here. Now, this is a tangent to this means there is a chance to write like this. Sir. One circle is this, another circle is this one. Two possibilities we are getting here now. Now, these two possibilities means you see here like this. So, you know very well that normal very simple here. If you take a circle, what is normal means very simple. Tangent you draw, the line perpendicular to tangent passing through the point of contact is called what normal normal is always passes through the center minus g comma minus f remember here normal is always right in the case of circle always passes through the passes through passes through the center 
of the circle. Center of the circle, if you say that is more than enough. Now you see here in this question, come to this question. He said that it is origin. Okay, fine, well and good. And the radius also that fellow has given. This is what one. This radius is one he has given. This radius is one. That means two chances we have here. Very simple, sir. This line makes an angle with the x-axis is 45 degrees. The line perpendicular to this passing to origin makes an angle what? 135 degrees. That line is y is equal to minus x. Actually, y is equal to minus x here. What is the slope of this one? Minus 1. What is the theta here? 135 degrees. So, you, you know very well that if you want to find, okay, if you want to find the point, yeah, I am going to use this formula. x1 plus r minus r cos theta, y1 plus r minus r sin theta I am using. Now, the question is plus minus. When we have to use plus, when we have to use minus, very simple. Above this plus r, x1 plus r cos theta, y1 plus r sin theta by using this formula. What is x1, y1? x1, y1 is very simple, 0, 0. Right? r is what? 1. We are using this. Now you see 0 plus 1 cos 135. Okay, 0 plus 1 sin 135. So you got it here, minus 1 by root 2, comma 1 by root 2 you are getting. In the same way, if you want to find the center here, yeah, you can write x1 minus r cos theta, y1 minus r sin theta below, below the point x1, y1 means this formula. So, 0 minus 1 cos 135, 0 minus 1 sin 35. So, 135, yes, yeah, sin 135 is there. Therefore, minus into minus plus 1 by root 2 comma minus 1 by root 2, you will get here. Two answers we are getting here. At the same time, sir, I don't want to take much more time here. I said it to you that normal, wherever doing this problem itself, we got it that concept. That's why I explained that one normal. Normal equation is also very simple. Get, take the point and passing through origin. Therefore, directly we can say that the line passes through the point of contact and origin. Point of contact and center. Yeah, one of the good questions we are dealing now. Tangents A, B, A, C are drawn to the circle. Okay, there is a circle. Two tangents are drawn. Fantastic. From where? From A, 0, 1 to the circle, what? Somewhere B here, C here. Now, you see here what he said here. The equation of the circle passing through ABC is said. Sir, you see, one of the beautiful concepts it is, based on this, in once he has given the exam also. Right. In the exam also, he got it. Okay. Uh, same question he has given. The line, see now, the circle passes through point of intersection of tangent and point of contact definitely passes through the center of the circle. Center of the circle. What is the center of the circle? 1 comma minus 2. Definitely, there is no second thought in. And also, please remember this. Remember this type of question, this type of uh, concept as a formula so that it, you will get a lot of benefit. So, remember. Whenever the circle is passes to the point of intersection of tangent and the point of contact, must, okay, definitely must passes through center of the given circle. And also, remember, it should be the radius, diameter. And here, if you say the center is what, already ABC we are in, using here, better uh, say this P. See, AP is a diameter. What is that? AP as a diameter, as a diameter. AP has a diameter. Now, required circle is, required circle is, simply you can say that x minus 0, x minus 1, plus y minus 1, y plus 2 is equal to 0, or x square minus x, here y square plus y minus 2 equal to 0, or else x square plus y square minus x plus y minus 2 equal to 0 is a required circle which is passing through A, B and C. Yeah, one more question I have taken here. Now you see this one, circle, right? Locus of point of intersection of tangent is said. That means here P, X1, Y1 is a point of intersection I have taken. And whereas here radius, center, what is the center here? Minus 1 comma minus 2. And radius is 1 plus 4 plus 1, r is equal to under root of 6. This radius is what? 6, we got it. r is equal to 6, root 6. The root 6 is there, r. And p, c, 
you can say T also, nothing will happen, PT. PT is how much? Root S11, length of the tangent is root S11 because X1, Y1 he has given. But angle between the included angle means this is 30 degrees, this is also what 30 degrees. Now better you take down tan 30 is equal to R 6 by root S11. Right, root S11 we have tan 30, tan 30 means 1 by root 3 is equal to root 6 by root S11 is there. So root S11 is equal to root 18. So S11 is equal to 18. What is S11? Here we have to write. That is x square plus y square plus 2x plus 4y minus 1 is equal to 8. S11, that only. So 1, 1, 1 actually I had to write. Nothing will happen now. Locus. Locus of P is x square plus y square plus 2x plus 4y minus 19 equal to 0. We are getting here like this. See, one more question I have taken here from any point on the circle. If you observe these two circles here, these two circles are concentric circle. So, diagram is like this, sir. From one point, if you draw a tangent here, there are two cases are arising here, two tangents. This point is x1, y1. The circle is the first circle. I don't want to waste my time. This is first circle and second circle. First circle is this, second circle is this one. Now, clearly, this is right if you say this is what uh, something theta this is also what theta y the same as this now what I am doing here see this one from to from to center what is center center is minus g comma minus f okay r to l right r to l right because yes little bit different g square plus f square minus c sin square alpha okay minus g square plus f square cos square alpha we have so r2 is finally finally you see here g square plus f square if you take common 1 minus cos square alpha c sin square alpha or r2 is equal to under root of finally g square plus f square minus c into sin square alpha is there or else R2 value is, we got it, G square plus F square minus C sin alpha. This is R2 we have. This one we got it. This is R2. Right. That is R2. Now the question is, theta. Let us say that tan theta. If you take that angle between these two is what theta, then this become what theta by 2. Theta by 2. Right. Theta by 2. Tan theta by 2 is equal to what? R by Roots S11, we have the formula. Now, how best we are going to use the formula, you see now. So, tan theta by 2, I am writing. R means you know very well, R2 I have to write. What is this? This one. Under root of G square plus F square minus C sin alpha. Right. And S11. Root S11 means that big equation we have to write here. X1 square, Y1 square, 2GX1, 2FY1. Right plus c into sin square alpha plus g square plus f square this is cos square alpha you can write the second equation only you have to write now what happened here x1 y1 lies on 1 means x1 square plus y1 square plus 2 g x1 plus 2 f y1 is equal to minus c i want to replace this one finally you see here I will get here tan theta by 2 is equal to under root of g square plus f square minus c. This is sin alpha. Numerator we are not going to change. But denominator we are going to change. That is minus c plus c sin square alpha. c sin square alpha plus c here g square plus f square cos square alpha. Rearrange. I don't have space here. So I can write directly. What is that? G square plus F square minus sin alpha into sin alpha minus C sin alpha. In the denominator also you will get. You see here, if you take minus C common, 1 minus sin square alpha is nothing but cos square alpha. Same as it is, you will get G square plus F square minus C, you will get 1 cos alpha. These two gone. Theta by 2 is equal to alpha. Theta is equal to 2 alpha. He is asking that only. Angle between the tangents, how much? 2 alpha you have to say. Right? Please. Okay. You see here, I have taken three examples at a time because you should get a clarity. If three lines are given, what is what is the question here? The number of circle 
the number of circle touching all the lines he said so you please observe three example the why I have taken three example means you should get clarity in this one if they form see here these two are perpendicular that means definitely you can draw like this perpendicular and this one is you can draw like this if you say that x plus 1 y plus 1 equal to 0 generalize equation don't take x and y axis generalize diagram you draw these two are perpendicular lines that means here x plus y plus 1 equal to 0 and this is x minus y minus 1 equal to 0 I have taken here now the question is how many number of tangent circles we can draw means one is in circle one is in circle you see this one in circle we have drawn another one is you see this one I would like to draw here another circle which is going to touch all the this line this line and this line three another one if you extend this it will be like this sir right it will be in this form right it may touch in this way right it may be touched in this way one two three another one is this is a bigger circle we can draw in this case yes you can sort of draw like this how many circles are there means in this case four if they form a triangle if the three lines are given three lines are form a triangle how many circle four circle now you please observe carefully the second example this and first one and this one you observe this and this two are definitely are parallel why if you multiply with four you'll get this one so when 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 he has given two parallel lines, it is they now they never form a triangle they never form a triangle means check it out that this one is also parallel to this no that means it is a transversal if it is a transversal it may be maybe here in this case it is what perpendicular that means here whether it is perpendicular or not the big issue here if it is a transversal then we'll get what two circles two lines are par parallel right two lines are parallel one is transversal how many two circles we are getting in this case and the last case is you see this one last case neither parallel nor perpendicular then one more case is left over what is that they may be congruent lines if they are congruent lines simply right zero number of circles are what zero you can say how many number of circles are touching the three lines here in the case of this word that's that's the reason I have selected here through three example at a time now you see here one example I have taken one simple example I forgot it in the beginning I have to discuss this one but at the end I am discussing now line is given is a tangent so if this is a tangent if this is a tangent means very simple what you have to do is first get the center here center is 3 comma minus 2 what is the radius here 9 plus 4 plus 12 r is equal to 5 we got it r is equal to 5 uh, if it is a tangent means perpendicular distance equal to radius we have to cross check okay we'll see p how much p here 4 into 3 3 into minus 2 plus 7 divided by here 16 plus uh, 9 mod is there p is equal to 12 plus 6 okay 12 plus 6 plus 7 and uh, this is what 5 r is equal to 25 by 5 r is 5 this is what r so that means if is a tangent definitely it is a tangent because it is satisfying the rule now what we have to find now point of after that he said that point of contact so point of contact to find point of contact i told you that write x s1 equal to 0 or else you can go for foot of perpendicular direct what is that foot of perpendicular from origin to the line you get it and you will get the answer what is that foot of this is one man one method of this what what i'm doing here you see h h minus 3 by 4 k plus 2 by minus 3 is equal to minus of this point i'm substituting here 12 okay mine plus 6 plus 7 divided by 4 plus okay 4 means 16 16 and it is 9 now you see here h minus 3 by 4 is equal to k plus 2 by minus 3 is equal to here minus 5 here yeah 25 by 25 this is what 25 by 25 means 1 we are getting so now h minus 3 is equal to minus 4 h is equal to we are getting yeah minus is there now that's why we are getting minus 1 minus 1 we are getting here k minus k minus k plus 2 this is what k plus 2 k plus 2 by minus 3 is equal to minus 1 k plus 2 is equal to 3 k is equal to my, uh, k 
k is equal to 1 we are getting so h comma k by using foot of perpendicular also we got it right this is another method i told to you this and one more method is there what is that what i said it to you that write s1 where you have to write s1 generalized one you write what is the generalized one see this dana generalized one is c generalized one is the, like this sir what here uh, x x1 x x1 plus y y1 3 into x plus x1 okay uh, 2 into y plus y1 minus 12 equal to 0 and uh, here you write x if you take common x1 minus 3 y if you take common okay y1 plus 2 and the other one is 3 x1 my plus 2 y1 minus 12 equal to 0 and compare with the given one 4 x minus 3 y plus 7 equal to 0 here see x1 minus 3 by 4 y1 plus 2 by minus 3 and also this one minus 3 x1 I'll write here in the denominator here x1 plus 2 y1 minus 12 divided by 7 you have to write comparison okay if you compare here you'll get two equations see this by taking this one you'll get one equation here what is that equation you see this then 3x1 9 is equal to minus 4y1 plus uh, minus 8 so 3x1 plus 4y1 uh, minus 1 equal to 0 one equation another one you take this two nothing will happen here 7x1 this and this I have taken here now 7x1 minus 21 is equal to and uh, when you multiply here minus 12 x1 and uh, 8 by 1 uh, minus 48 you will get what what i want to say is very simple if you write it this side here this is what 19 x1 19 x1 minus 8 y1 and here 21 is there plus 48 if you take this side after simplifying see get the point of intersection of this two just you substitute here minus 1 comma 1 you see here minus 1 comma 1 satisfying this equation and this is also therefore you can say that minus 1 comma 1 is a answer like this also you can solve this is method 2 method 2 is like this method 2 is in this way we can do here right you see here one more question I have taken here circle and touching the coordinate axis relatedly one of the beautiful questions two beautiful questions are there one of this one what he said here two circles are there okay two circles are touch the axis okay touch the both the coordinate axis see I would like to draw here one circle is this another circle I want to draw in this way right this is x axis this is y axis I'll take and this point is some p 3 comma 1 I'll take here remember it is one of the easiest one what is that very very simple it is here very very simple it is what is the two circle touching both the axis yeah we have taken two uh, and they are going to intersect at p and q also yes sir we got it p is this one q is what what is q means need not worry because the center of the larger one r2 r2 r uh, r2 you will get the smaller one is r1 r1 that means this line is y is equal to x if y, y is equal to x is a line whose centers are what lies on this line uh, definitely we can say that definitely we can say that uh, q is a q is the image image of p with respect to y is equal to x with respect to y is equal to x therefore you directly you can write what is the image here with respect to y means reverse 1 comma 3 so what he is asking here length of pq length of pq is nothing but how much 3 minus 1 whole square plus 3 minus 1 whole square 1 minus 3 whole square you can write right finally here 4 plus 4 that is what 2 root 2 you are getting what is pq like this 2 root 2 you are getting one of the best questions here if you know this point if you know that this uh, two centers are lies on y is equal to x then only it is easy please remember that one more question here you see this here he has given the line this line is what uh, 4x plus 3y is equal to 12 he has given a b you can say that this is a and b smallest circle means this is the smallest circle but he said that largest circle largest circle means sir yeah you can extend this uh, there is a chance to get the circle like this right there is a chance to get the circle yeah you can draw the circle in this way 
right you can draw the circle in this way but overall when you are going when it is going to touch the coordinate axis this is r this is also r the center of this circle is what center c is r comma r radius is also what radius radius is also r to get this r we have to get it what is that r you see this one now it is also a touching the circuit this is uh, as well as coordinate axis and this one if it is a tangent see 4x plus 3y minus 12 equal to 0 is a tangent tangent to what this circle 2 this is circle 1 to 1 means perpendicular distance equal to radius because circle equation is x minus r whole square plus y minus r whole square equal to r square first quadrant first quadrant means we'll get like this now here perpendicular this means 4r plus 3r minus 12 by under root of 9 plus sorry 16 plus 9 mod it is and radius is r how 7r minus 12 is equal to 5r two possibilities we are getting what is that 7r minus 12 or 5r or 7r minus 12r is equal to minus 5r so 12r is equal to 12 r is equal to 1 we got it another one is 2r is equal to 12 r is equal to 6 what is the equation we want larger circle means what this one you should not take this this you have to take what is the equation here let me write here x minus 6 whole square y minus 6 whole square is equal to 6 6 square this is the equation of the circle here now the radius only he said the radius is this one the equation is that okay right on previous a triple question you see here what is said here there is a circle is going to touch x axis right touch x axis then some point is there p comma q this is a other end locus of other end he said something q i will take h comma k i am doing what see equation of the circle equation of the circle say b a b as diameter what is the answer x minus q uh, sorry x minus p x minus h plus y minus q and y minus k equal to 0 this is x axis now touches touches x axis means what i am doing y is equal to 0 i am substituting now x square minus xh minus px plus ph here 0 will get 0 0 0 k 0 means q k will get here like this now finally x square minus x into h plus p and here ph plus q k because it is going to touch x axis the roots of these equations are what equal that means delta is equal to zero concept i'm using that is h plus p whole square minus 4 into a is 1 and here ph plus q k equal to zero or else see this this and minus 4 ph means h minus p whole square you can write minus 4 q k equal to zero this i want to write here this i want to write here so locus locus of hk means x minus p whole square is equal to 4 q y this is the answer like this we are going to solve one one last question you see here a line meets the coordinate axis in a and b a circle is circumscribed about the triangle oab if m and n are distances of tangent to the circle at origin okay from the points a and b respectively then the diameter of the circle is what he said sir very simple here what he said here let us say like this there is a line this line equation x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 i'll take that means this point is a comma 0 and this point is 0 comma b yes i have taken like this and now he said here a comma b a circle this is a circle is circumscribing no problem here you see here circum circumscribing this one and he said that a tangent is drawn over here i can't say like this directly i can say like this that there may be a tangent i don't know that exactly i'm assuming like this it may be at that particular point i may be now he said that the distance from a to this one perpendicular distance sir this is what uh, something he said m and distance from this to this he said that n then a b a b is what diameter of the circle this is b na the a b is what he said very simple what i am going to take here see this 
0, 0 is 1 point, okay, 0, 0 is 1 point, A is A0, B is 0, B is Z. So now you can say that A, B, Z diameter, why perpendicular is there here? It is a 90 degrees angle. So A, B is a diameter. A, B is a diameter means, you see, equation of the circle A, B as diameter. A, B is diameter means X minus A into X minus 0, Y minus 0 and Y minus B is equal to 0. That is X square plus Y square minus AX minus BY is equal to 0. We got it. Now what I am doing here, equation of the tangent, equation of the tangent at 0, 0 I am finding. That is 0X plus 0Y minus A by 2 into X plus 0, B by 2 into Y plus 0 is 0. That means finally AX plus BY equal to 0, we got it. He said that are, M is a perpendicular distance from A. See here, perpendicular distance. Okay, from A to line, say 2. This equation of the circle is 1, you can say equation 2. Now, we will get here M is equal to, now you see this one, M. I want to write here, M is equal to perpendicular distance from A. That is what? A into A plus B into 0 by root over A square plus B square. It is modulus. So, A is equal to, M is equal to A square under root of A square plus B square. Similarly, See here, similarly, the B, what is that? N is a perpendicular distance. Distance from, this is what? From B to 2. You will get N is equal to B square by under root of A square plus B square. You see here, M plus N. What I am doing here? M plus N. M plus N means A square plus B square. One can easily get that idea. What to do means just adding here, I got the confirmation that A square plus B square will get. So, M plus N become what? Under root of? a square plus b square. So, I can say that m plus n is nothing but a b. This is what distance between a b is a square plus b square. So, the diameter is like this. Okay, right sir. We will discuss a tangent relatedly uh, and a circle with uh, axis also we discussed thoroughly. In the next part, we will go for next one sir. Thank you very much guys.